Now it's time for another round of Good Day, Good Eats. Love or hate it, avocado toast is all the rage right it's now. It's everywhere. Millennials made this happen, I think. And it's not just <laughs> on the breakfast table. It takes on many forms. You can now order it as a dish. Well, if you've been to the grocery store lately and shopped for avocados, you know that there's a bit of an avocado shortage that has driven the price of avocados up a little bit. But people are still gobbling up this trendy dish. We've got Chris Bell. He's the co-owner of Portside in Lodo. And I was just asking you this, Chris, a second ago. Do people really buy this? Is this really a thing? It is a thing. And it's probably our best seller. Wow. Um, it's pretty hardy, you know, we end up, you know, people might make fun of us for <laughs> making avocado toast, but it's a big thick slice of bread and you a lot of food. You make what sells, right? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. You, and, and you make a good version of it too. Try to. Why yeah. do you think it's selling so well? Why do you think this became so popular? I think it's delicious. It's like, you know, yeah. vanilla ice cream is popular. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just got to keep it simple. Yeah, yeah, things that are good sell well. And, and you uh, kinda, you're doing like an elevated avocado toast. What are you doing? So we take a uh, big slice of... Grateful Breads, Country Batard. Local bread made up in, in uh, Golden, Colorado. And we put a little uh, garlic oil on it before we toast it. See, they're not mm -hmm. messing around, Megan. This oh, isn't yeah. just a piece yeah. of avocado stuff. Normally like I toast it in the, in the oven, cook. but my grandfather made his toast in the pan, so we can Cast do it iron, in the pan. too, wow. right? <laughs> yeah, and while the, the bread's going, I uh, open up the avocado. And, and don't get avocado hand. You've heard about I've that, I've heard right? about that. <laughs> and I, sent, I sent an article to all my employees not to. <laughs> not to do that. Yeah, that's the last thing you need is an employee who gets avocado <laughs> hand on the job. Then you got right. workman's comp. It's a whole mess. You don't want to oh, do that. Oh, man. <laughs> so we're going to take the avocado out. We might not use all this. Can this I ask a silly question just because sure. you're here and you're the professional? When you're at the grocery store and you're shopping for an avocado, how do you pick the perfect avocado? That's actually a good question. It, it, good it's one. a great question. So if you take your thumb and kind of give a little press at okay. the top so you don't bruise the... It should feel, it should give a little. Okay. And then you've... It's mushy, right? Yeah. Looking for the mushy? If Just it's a, too hard, it's not ripe enough. Too hard, it's going to take a couple of days in a uh, warm area. Too hard, I mean, uh, too soft, and it'll, it might be discolored. So we're adding a little bit of salt. So what if you do, if, if you want to use your avocados and they happen to be a little too ripe, is there anything you can do at home to speed up the process, if you will? So if they're, if they're not ripe enough, set it in a warm... Right. That's yeah, a, yeah, a warm spot, um, maybe a warm window. If they're it's... overripe, give them to your friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's when they start turning colors. I mean, is, is, there, yeah. is there anything you can do if it's if overripe, it's like... or is it too late by then? Well, as long as it tastes okay. Yeah. If you're if you're eating it yourself, um, a little discolor. We don't like. But to... then they start to get sour a little bit. On yeah. The... There you go. We don't like to use brown mm -hmm. avocados. But if they're not ripe enough, they're kind of rubbery. That. Everyone at your restaurant appreciates that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Um, All right, so you've got your avocado. It's mashed up. You put a little bit of uh, salt, salt and pepper, pepper in there. Got it tasting good. I like to mash mine. I mean, you can slice it and make sure. it look real pretty. Um, but if you mash it, then you get it seasoned all the way through. Okay. Um, then you got red radishes, right? I got radishes. Picked these guys up this weekend at the Boulder Farmer's Market. I make that look so easy. This is a, a mandolin. You want to keep your fingers out of the way. <laughs> um, but it just gives you good, even slices. How was the Farmer's Market so far? Were they, were they just busting at the seams this weekend? This weekend also had the Boulder Creek Fest going oh on. Gosh. So it was, it was kind of crazy up so there. That's a good experience, though. I mean, if you haven't been up to the Boulder Farmer's Market, so much yeah, cool stuff. So many farmers up yeah. there. And Colorado puts out a lot of... Uh, a lot of great produce. Our growing season is just a little shorter. Yeah, but it's one of the best farmer's markets in the country, they say. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I've sliced the radishes. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of lemon juice, and that just gives a little acid to balance nice. out all the fat of the avocado. But it's healthy fat, the avocado, right? <laughs> yeah. It's good fat. Yeah, eat all you want. <laughs> I'll keep making it. <laughs> so, so do you cook the radishes, or you, or you just... No, they're, we keep them... It's a little balance of uh, crunchy, soft, Got it. cold, hot. Um, just try to make the dish well balanced and a, a little bit of everything. All right. So as we run out of time here, we got to wrap All it up. Right, so Obviously, you probably cook the toast a little bit more, get a little more brown, yeah. but we got to move on here. So we'll you slap that avocado, avocado on there. Try to give a good, healthy amount. We don't want to be cheap. <laughs> um, then we're going to spread that around. Just Look at enough. that. Looks good. Get some radishes. Where is Portside, by the way? Portside, we're down in Rhino at 25th and Larimer. Okay, 25th and Larimer. And then we'll. Lay what do them you out. typically serve with your avocado toast? Avocado toast, nice cup of coffee. And we serve it all day, seven days a week. Nice. So you can eat it for breakfast or lunch. 
Uh, but we're, we serve breakfast and lunch seven days a week. Look at that. And here's the final product. Yeah, we want to lay them the out. seasoning on top. Yeah. So it, it's going to end up looking kind of like a scales. Looks cool. Well, well Chef, thank for. you for stopping by and, awesome. and, and elevating avocado toast for us instead of the, the typical avocado slammed on a piece right. of uh, Wonder Bread and then, you know, That's the way I do it. <laughs> That's and now you're going to do it this salt. way. Now you got to oh. elevate it a little bit. Yeah, now I know how to try to recreate this at home. Yeah. Portside and Rhino, and you guys nice. are open till five, right? So you could even do it during the week, yeah. early dinner if you want, even though they technically do breakfast and lunch. So let's get over to Greg now.